100 minute wireless charging? That's done. Samsung is finally speeding things up. And yes, the magnets are actually happening. This is your early look at the Galaxy S26 Ultra. So first, let's clear the confusion because the leaks have been messy this year. People were saying the S26 was delayed, canceled that the Edge model was dead. None of that is true. Samsung is back on track. The reveal is happening in January 2026, and you'll see the phones in stores by February. And the S26 Edge, not canceled, just arriving later in 2026. So yes, all four models are real. No more drama. Now about the design. Samsung is finally making the whole lineup look like one family. The S26 has a 6.3 inch screen, the Plus jumps to 6.7, and the Ultra comes in huge at 6.9 inches. They're a bit taller and wider than the S25 series, but thinner by 0.25 millimeters. And that rumor about the base model getting thicker doesn't look true. Recent leaks still point to a 6.9 millimeters design. Plus the corners are softer and more premium this year. In the hand, these are gonna feel way cleaner. The performance upgrades are no joke either. The Ultra gets the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 worldwide. No more Exynos lottery. It's a boosted version too. And with 12 gigabytes LPDR 5X RAM at 10.7 gigabytes per second, everything feels instant. It's 26% faster than the S25 Ultra. Apps, editing, gaming, AI tasks, it's built to handle all of it. By the way, if you're enjoying this breakdown and you want to stay ahead of the leaks as they drop, make sure you're subscribed. I post updates the moment they break, so you won't miss anything. All right, back to the fun stuff. Now, let's talk charging, because Samsung finally listened. Wireless charging jumps from 15W to 25W on the Ultra. That means a full charge in around 60 minutes instead of 100. The S26 and Plus also get an upgrade to 20W. But the real win? Qi2 magnets. Yep, real MagSafe style magnetic charging. Snap-on chargers, wallets, stands. Finally, no more sliding your phone around the pad to find a sweet spot. And wired charging hits 60W PPS with stable speeds through most of the battery percentage. Camera-wise, the setup looks familiar. 200MP main, 50MP ultra-wide, 50MP 5X, 10MP 3X. But Samsung tweaked the lenses. The main goes from 23mm to 24mm, and the 5X telephoto jumps to 120mm. This gives you tighter framing, cleaner portraits, and more natural depth. AI upgrades make everything pop even more. And yes, the front camera cutout is bigger, about 4 millimeters. But that's because the field of view jumps from 80 degrees to 85 degrees. So now you can fit more people in your selfies without stretching your arm like a tripod. The display is getting the new M14 OLED panel. Brighter, more power efficient, and better calibrated. And Samsung might be the first to launch Bluetooth 6.1 this year which means lower lag, better privacy, stronger connection, and better earbud battery life. So no, the S26 Ultra isn't a full revolution, but it's a refinement in every direction. Charging, cameras, display, power design, and finally magnets. Which upgrade do you care about more? The Qi2 magnets or the wider selfie camera? Drop your answer below. I actually read the comments. And if you want to stay up to date with every new S26 leak as it drops, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one.